Cross looks like a guy who's who's containing something or who's rapidly switching back and forth between being very calm and being very explosively violent. And it, it makes him a very unsettling guy to even watch on television. Very unpredictable in uh, in a different way, but it, a, a kind of kind of the same way as Roddy Piper, where you just you don't know what this guy is going to do or when he's going to do it, and you're going to get no warning when he decides to do something extreme. So I, I, there's a, a very much an air of legitimacy around this guy, and uh, I, I think he's going to be a, one of your major players in the future. Oh my God! I mean, it's he, he's legit, all right. I mean, uh, he's actually terrifying. I mean, he's unlike a lot of the, like you were mentioning, like, you know, independent wrestlers who like bug their eyes out, try to be intense. The difference between that and this is this guy is legit 6'3", 6'3 and a half. He's legit 260. He's jacked. And this guy, he didn't just do MMA. He did bare knuckle fighting. I didn't even know that still existed, but apparently it does in Northern Canada. <laughs> bare knuckle fighting. I, I have no doubt. He's uh, he's terrifying, and so he's a guy that you know, like if he can keep his his other issues kind of at bay, uh, he's got future world champion written all over him, in my opinion. letting this man compete he, he attacked everybody he laid people out and now killer cross is going to have a match well listen you know the vagaries of international business and the wrestling industry and all look the bottom line is this guy as it turns out is an established fighter he's a former bare knuckle champion in northern canada he's a great submission specialist Everyone wants him signed. Everyone wants him. Says he's a future world champion. Well, by God, Impact Wrestling, from what I understand, doesn't discriminate based on people's past. So here we go. We got a guy who laid a few people out. Didn't kill anybody. He laid them out. That happens from time to time. But I will say this. He is clearly, in my opinion, a clinical psychic.